Have you ever had a thought and it surprised the hell out of you that it actually came out of your head? Like if you saw it on TV, you would change the channel? If technology is so great, why isn't there a way that it can help you program your mind to think what you want it to think? There's an app for that. Today I review two meditation apps that put you in command of your mind just like that. Join me. Welcome to Kim TV, where you learn how to stop running on empty, fill your tank, and live agelessly. This month is Meditation Month, and I've been sharing the benefits of incorporating it into your life and simple ways that you can get started. You can check out those videos here. Now, if you're anything like me, you have way too much going on to stop for 20 minutes to meditate. And when you do find the time, it's awful. You squirm, you itch, your brain starts chattering and suddenly you remember you need to call your grandmother and thank her for the birthday gift she gave you when you were 12. Today I'm sharing two apps that I've discovered to help me power down and plug into myself, even if I only have five minutes and I'm in the parking lot of Costco. The first one is one that I've used for several years. It's called Brainwave Altered States. It's Brainwave Entrapment. Now, I know it's available on, in the Apple App Store. Uh, I'm not sure about Android. Um, brainwave entrainment is a safe and powerful method of calming the activity in your mind so that you can achieve a, a state of complete relaxation and mental clarity without having to be able to sit for hours like a monk. It does that by playing sequences of binaural tones to both hemispheres of your brain, stimulating brainwave frequencies associated with various states of the mind. So well, let me put on my new fancy glasses. You like my new glasses? Um, I'm still dealing with the fact that I have to wear glasses. All right, so let's look at the app. There's different, um, like it's like a menu, like walking up to Starbucks. You've got morning zen, natural high, chakra meditation, euphoric bliss, awaken mind, one I use a lot, um, inspired creativity, dreamy sleep. I use that one a lot. And you get to mix in these that they call ambient sounds. So some of those include, um, let's see, flowing creek, uh, rain, ocean waves, one that I use a lot, forest. But then again, it must be my infatuation with crickets. It's like you get into the forest without the bug bites. They have a variety of different programs available. I recommend either the 15 mind altering binaural programs or their super duper 30 advanced binaural programs. I often listen to this to go to bed, especially if I've been working late and I can't turn off that part of my brain. Sometimes there's just not enough lavender. There's a specific program in here for inducing deep sleep. You can use this and not even have to close your eyes. Sometimes I listen to this while I'm writing or doing a creative project to, to tap into more of my creativity. And if I'm having a particularly stressful day, I'll even listen to this in line at Costco. I love this app. It was actually one of my very first apps and now that I've have, I have hundreds on my phone, it's still one of my favorites. You can get it online, it's cheap and it works. I put the, a link to the one that I use in the description below. The second app I've recently discovered is called Headspace. Isn't that cute? I'm only getting started with it, but I'm loving it so far. For one, they make meditation fun. It's not some precious, pious experience. They call it the first gym membership for the mind. Okay, fun. Second, I love their mission to get as many people as possible in the world to take 10 minutes out of their day to practice a simple meditation. As a social enterprise, they even started a Headspace Foundation to improve the health and well-being of communities around the world. Don't you just love that? It gives new meaning to world peace. It was started by Andy Pudicom, I think is how you say his name, who became a monk at 22 years old and was ordained at the Tibetan monastery in the Himalayas. 10 years later, Andy returned to the United Kingdom with a singular wish to demystify meditation. He also went on to get a degree in circus arts and is an avid surfer, surfer and snowboarder. He's not your typical monk. <laughs> There's different meditations available on the app, some free, some paid. I got started with their, their free Take 10 program where they actually introduce you to meditation very simply. They truly demystify it and they make it fun and easy to do. 
and they've really used technology in the app to make it engaging and interactive. Plus, I have to admit, I love the voice of the guy who guides you, who happens to be Andy. I'm a sucker for laid back English accents. Don't tell my husband. So let's, let's dive into this app. Okay, so welcome back to Take 10, day two. So yesterday took your first 10 minutes. And Isn't that cute? Maybe it was exactly as you expected. Or maybe it was a little more difficult than you expected. Maybe it was even easier than you expected. Yes, it was. The important thing to remember about meditation is that it's a skill. It's a new skill. A new and skill. it requires practice and a bit of familiarity. So today we're just going to kind of build on what we did yesterday and just yeah, increase that sense of familiarity. So we're going to begin in exactly the same way. Doesn't it make it easy? Like he's just your friend in your head just talking you through this thing that's so easy to do. Um, let's see some of the things you have. It tracks your progress. So when you're done, it says, I'm done. Next day, please. It really is engaging. Um, let's see. Here's the progress. Look, look at this. You are on day two. You have done 10%. There are nine days left to take this. Oh, even though meditation is a singular practice, you know, a soul practice, the app reminds you that you're not alone. Right now, there are 230 headspacers meditating right now. Isn't that cool? So we, we think we're alone, but we're not. While I am silly, like I said, I have nine days left. I'm just getting started. You, you, it's really fun. I mean, it's something that I want to do. You get monk quality meditation education that's fun at your fingertips without having to go to the Himalayas or leave your house. And it's for free. It works on the iPhone and Android devices and is available at the Apple App Store, Google Play, and Amazon App Store. I've also put a link to their website in the description below. And if you do try it, Tell Andy that I sent you. I'd love to hear his voice on the other end of the phone. If you want more peace in your life and you'd like to remove some of the lines off your face naturally, I highly recommend both Brainwave Altered States and Headspace apps. And if you try them, let me know what you think in the comments below. Next week, I continue with Meditation Week by hitting the streets to find out what people think about meditation and What's preventing them from tapping into their own hard drive? I hope you'll join me. So do you have a favorite meditation app? Let me know. I'd love to give it a try. Let me know in the comments below or tweet me at Kim Castle, hashtag meditation month. And if you haven't joined the Life on Full conversation, it's really easy to do. Just log into YouTube with your Gmail account and let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Connect with me on Facebook, and you can also sign up for my newsletter at kimcastle.com. Every week I share tips and resources and answers that I discover on the anti-aging road back to vitality, energy, and feeling your best so that you can enjoy your life again. If there's something that you would like to see me explore, dive into, be sure to let me know. Thank you so much for inviting me into your life today. Be sure to share Kim TV with the woman that you love. Until next time, remember to live life on full. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below and show me some Sally Field and like it. And of course, subscribe. I promise I'll make it worth your while. That infatuation with crickets and Pinocchio, I guess. <laughs> um, wasn't there crickets and Pinocchio? No, Jiminy Cricket. I'm sorry, not Pinocchio. <laughs> Jiminy Cricket. <laughs>